Hi, this is Nick from Wolfman Repairs, and today I have something I'm super excited about. I have Castlevania V. Now you're going to say, Nick, there was no such thing as Castlevania V. But here it is. So I saw this on eBay. They said it's not working. And I saw these pictures from the listing. I'll post them now. And as you can see in the pictures, the board doesn't look like a normal NES board. So I'm like, I gotta get this. I gotta show everybody because this is cool. So let's let me take this apart right now. Show you what I'm talking about. I mean, you just saw a picture of it, but you know what I mean. Check this out. Now from the pictures, I saw that this wire was hanging and uh, I did a whole bunch of research on this chip here. Because this is not a normal chip for this particular board. As a matter of fact, I have a regular copy of Castlevania that I had to pick up just to compare the two. So let me show you this real quick. So this is what the regular Castlevania looks like. Now I've seen other boards where it's a green board. This is like a bluish color which is pretty cool in itself. But see, it's the chip says Konami on it and everything. So this here chip is a uh, ROM chip that is uh, programmable. And I do believe that this little hole here, you can erase the stuff on here with a uh, UV light. I'm, I think that's true. I'm not 100% sure on that, but uh, yeah. So I did a whole bunch of research on this chip here and this is what I got so this is a M27 C 2001 chip and uh, this data sheet came out in April 1999 alright let me get get this uh, here Castlevania out of here and I'll show you what I found Okay, so before I went all willy-nilly and just said, okay, I think I know where this here wire goes, I want to do a little research to find out where this wire might go. And from looking at the board, just like a visual inspection, it looks like the wire was attached to this topmost pin here. So, I mean, that's a, just an assumption. But we'll get under the microscope in a minute to see if there's any piece of wire in there. But um, as you can see, this is not wired all that well so if we do get this working i'll have to rewire it as well so that you know it's nice and clean but so after doing all this research this is what i have come up with so we got the wires connected from this pin to this pin so G is an output enable. VSS on this board is ground for Nintendo. I also had to get a Nintendo pin out as well to figure all this out. So this here is ground. And then 
we have a wire going from A16, which is up here, to the board. So this G, pin G is lifted, pin 24 here is lifted, and this wire is attached to it, so it's getting ground to this pin G, which is the output enable on this chip. And then you have this wire here from A16 going to the board here, which is the output enable on, on the board itself. So now we have this wire that is on A is on pin number 30, is A17, uh, which is five volts on the normal Nintendo chip. And this is just hanging, it's disconnected. So I'm thinking that it's going to go to this VCC, which is supply voltage. But we also have voltage here. So we have five volts here going to the because this is what it says on this uh, schematic here. So we had five volts on A16 going to the board on the output enable. And we also have this five volt line just hanging. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna connect this five volt line back to this VCC, because that's where I think it came from. So, uh, so after hours of research, this is what I came up with and Let's get it under the microscope and see if there's any trace of this wire being attached there at one point. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's, let's do that right now. The microscope incoming. All right, so normally we'd be cutting to our microscope right about now, but um, my microscope decided that, hey, I'm not going to record this. So here we are with a reenactment. So what happened was here, I was checking to see if there was a little piece of wire at the top pin up on our little reenactment piece here. And uh, what I did was I touched it with the soldering iron and I did move a little piece of wire off of that pin. So that tells me that the wire that was hanging loose, represented by this hanging loose wire, was in fact soldered here. So what I went ahead and did was I pulled this around and I soldered it to the point, to that, uh, to that pin, just like that. And, uh, and I guess we'll go back to, uh, me in the past getting this repair done. Um, sorry about that, that it didn't record, but these things happen. And, uh, I really want to show you guys this video. So there's a little reenactment. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay. So here's our, our board with the wire reattached. We're going to go ahead and check continuity on all these wires. Just to make sure that we don't need to solder anything else, that everything's all good. Okay, and from here to here. Okay, so wire that we fixed has continuity. Uh, let's throw it back in the case and throw it in our Nintendo and hopefully nothing blows up. Got our Nintendo. Now, I know regular Castlevania likes to be up, so 
So if you put it in there, oh, now it's not going to do it. Uh, still got a black screen. Is my video capture not working? All right, so it seems like it was my video recording device because it's working now. This uh, OBS that I use is uh, kind of wonky sometimes with the video capture that I have. So anyway, let's uh, pull Dragon Warrior out of there because that's not what this video is about. Ah, come on. Come on, Nintendo. You could do it. There we go. So regular Castlevania likes to be in the Nintendo without pushing it down. See, it's working right now. But if you push it down, it doesn't like to work. Well, and now it's just going to make a liar out of me. Anyway, there we go. Let's, uh, Let's throw Castlevania 5 in and see what happens. I'm going to try it up first. Oh, got something going on. Alright, we got it working. Castlevania 5. Press start key. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Look at that. That is neat. Now, I hopefully you can hear me over the Castlevania 5 action. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm hitting start. What's going on? Oh, okay. Huh, that's interesting. Look at this guy. Oh, jeez. So I didn't know that they made these into cartridges. You know, I'm sure this is someone, someone did this who loves, absolutely loves this game and decided, you know what? I'm gonna make this into, you know, I'm gonna take a part of regular Castlevania. I'm gonna make it into Castlevania 5. I'm not very good at this game. Oh, oh, yeah. But anyway, I'm glad we got it working. So now what we have to do is Let's let's go ahead and fix all the wiring that's in this in this cartridge and go from there and see if it see if it still works after I'm done fixing it. You know, I don't want to fix it till it's broken. All right, I'm I'm happy about that that we got that working. That's pretty cool. Oh, I don't need this out. It's a rare part. I think. There we go. All right, let's rewire this this bad boy and try it again.
All right, now we got it rewired. And it's a little neater than it was before. Just, just a little bit. I decided to go on the back of the board for some of these because that just made more sense for me. Um, but yeah, so let's clean this up and uh, try it out. Got a little IPA. And while we're here, we'll clean the board off as well. Clean, clean the pins, I mean. You know what I'm saying. All right, then that looks pretty nice. Okay, let's uh, let's just check for continuity. I want to make sure this wire is not touching this other pin. It doesn't look like it is, but uh, you know, just to make sure. Let's check this here. Okay, it doesn't look like it's touching, which is good. Okay, let's just check uh, continuity here. It's kind of hard to hold and do this at the same time. I need an extra like four hands. All right. So I think we have continuity where we need it. Let's uh, throw it back into the system and make sure we didn't break it. All right, let's throw it in there and see if it works. All right, we didn't mess it up. Sweet. Good at this game. Awesome. All right, so there you guys have it. Castlevania 5 up and running. So that's pretty neat, I think. Let me got let me know what you guys think in the comments about this game. Let me know if you played it, if you tried it, if you like it or not. Um, I'm going to do some Google searching and see if I can find any like playthroughs or anything. If I find anything, I'll post it down in the comment in the uh, description section below. But yeah, let me get, let me know what you guys think about this. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.